Hey parents, just wanted to show you how we can solve another problem, multiplication problem, using an area model and introduce partial products. So for today, we're gonna to do a one digit by a four digit number. So we're gonna do five multiplied by 3,217. So when we're starting with the area model, we always start with a rectangle and our first factor is gonna go on the outside. And this time we're gonna split our area model into four sections because we have a four digit number. So I'm going to have 3,000 in the first column, we have 200 in the second, 10, and 7 finishing it off. So now I'm just going to do the same thing as before where I'm multiplying the side number and the top number. So 5 multiplied by 3 is 15, I'm going to add those three zeros because we're in the thousands. 5 multiplied by 2 is 10, add two more zeros in the 200, 5 times 10 is 50, and finally 5 multiplied by 7 is 35. So now when I add all of these partial products up, I'll get my product. So I have 15,000 plus 1,000 plus 50 is 35. When I do all that, I should get 16,085. Now that's the area model. That's the way that we really have been focusing on fourth grade. But today I did introduce partial products to them. So partial products is essentially doing this just without Jordan Milholland for dismissal, Jordan. Just without the area model. So we're doing a lot of mental math. So instead of solving it like that, we're going to set up the problem in a similar fashion to what we did when we were taught, where the larger numbers on the top. Now we're gonna take this five and we multiply it through each place value. So I'm gonna start by multiplying it by my 3,000. So I'm gonna take five, multiply by 3,000. Well, there's gonna be three zeros because that's how many zeros a thousand has. And now I'm gonna do the five, multiply by the three, and I get 15. All right, so I did the thousands, now I'm gonna work on the hundreds, five times 200. So I'm gonna have two zeros because I, that's 100. And then five times two would be 10. So then I'm going to take it and multiply it by the, the tens. So 5 times 10 would be 50. And then 5 multiplied by the 3 would be 35. And again, if I add up all Jesse my... Jesse Hand, please report to the clinic. Jesse Hand, please report to the clinic. If I add up all my partial products, I'm going to get my answer, which in this case would be 16,085. So both ways get the same answer. It's just one way. We're doing more mental math than the other way. But if you notice, all of our partial products are the same. I have 15,000 here, 15,000 here. I have 1,000 here, 1,000 here. 50 here, 50 here, 35, 35. So we're multiplying the same numbers. The only difference is instead of laying it out, now they're starting to do it in their head. And this is how they can multiply faster than the standard algorithm because now it's being broken up into place value and they can really see what's going on. So for the homework, I still strongly suggested a lot of students stick with the area model today because we are new to the partial products. But if they want to go ahead and give it a try with the partial products, they can absolutely try it. If they try it and they want to check it with the area model, that would be something they could do as well. Uh, hopefully this video helps and have a great day.